Thank you. Tonight, one Columbia man is behind bars accused of stabbing another man. Police arrested 66-year-old Samuel Monroe early this morning. And today, ABC 17's Lindsay Burning also talked to neighbors who helped the victim. And Lindsay, they say the man knocked on their door and asked them to call 911. Marissa, police say they arrested Samuel Monroe at 606 Wilkes Boulevard, which is the street that runs behind Hickman High School. Police did not name the victim who was stabbed, but they say he's a 57-year-old man. Down the street, a neighbor says he was playing video games with friends when he heard a knock at the door. I opened the door to see a stranger. He uh, asked for us to call 9 or for 911 for an ambulance mm -hmm. because he just got stabbed. Around 2 o'clock this morning, police responded to a call on Wilkes Boulevard for a report of an assault. After investigation, police say they found out the victim had been in an argument with Monroe. During a heated argument, Monroe pulled out a pocket knife and stabbed the victim in the stomach several times and also in the back. Caleb Burkhart says he thinks the man knocked on his door because it was the only house on the block with lights still on in the middle of the night. He says he and his fiance immediately started helping the man, even though they didn't know him. We called 911, and as soon as all that happened, we my uh, fiance in there grabbed uh, some uh, paper towels to try and stop the bleeding or putting pressure on it. Then a short time later, Burkhart's fiance's parents came home and took over until police and paramedics arrived. Me and her father and our friend came in from delivering pre or getting Christmas presents, and uh, she was on the phone. I asked who that was, and they're like, I don't know. And uh, she goes, This guy got stabbed. Sorry had her father start taking over bandaging and the police and everybody showed up. Police arrested Monroe about 10 minutes later for armed criminal action, first degree assault and unlawful use of a weapon. The victim was transported to a local hospital for his injuries. Police say the wounds were non-life threatening. Thank you, Lindsay. And Monroe is currently in the Boone County Jail. His first court appearance is set for December 1st.